All right. Yeah. Let's get into the really stupid stuff news. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rob and I had to. Uh, he's all excited today. Oh, yeah. So this isn't even Giants news, but we had to share this. It's an NFC East news. <laughs> so we're sneaking into the show. Sneaking it into the show. And that's the fact that we have a rumor here with the video and everything. I'd say. That a certain Eagles linebacker may have run out on a bill from an OnlyFans model. Now, allegedly, I said may have. I'm not yeah, going to yeah. use them flat out because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's let's talk a little bit about it here. So it's linebacker Terrell Lewis is who is getting accused by OnlyFans model Mia Mercy, which I got to be honest, I don't know if she's big on OnlyFans or something like that. I'm married, and I'm also too cheap to pay for porn. So, yeah, listen, you don't buy it if you can get it for free. Don't buy the yeah. gallon, you get milk for free. Exactly. Like, I don't, and I never understand the OnlyFans thing unless you're like somebody obsessed with a certain celebrity. I don't mean like derangedly obsessed. Yeah. But like, it's... if you're like, oh, so and so's on there, I've always been curious. Like, okay, like, whatever. I'm, that's, that's weird, but I'm not going to like chastise you like you're the worst person in the world for it, you know? Yeah. Like they're offering it. Um, but to spend a lot of money on some random girl that you don't even know just to see the occasional nude picture, that's just weird to me. That's weird. I'll never get that. Maybe it's because it's not something that was there when it's I was young. because you still go to the store and buy magazines. <laughs> well, I have to free them of their cover that hides <laughs> yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, so anyway, she accused him of skipping under the bill. She posted a video of, I assume it's herself, uh, running down a hallway accusing a man she says is Lewis. The post says, we've got a runner, ladies and gentlemen. Terrell Lewis, ladies and gents. And the video, like I said, shows somebody with a cell phone taking the video and a woman literally running down after the man in the hallway naked. Yep, butt-ass naked. Now, I would say, as you say, butt-ass naked, based on the tattoos and the pictures I've now seen online of her trying to research for the segment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a good thing you I do your research. Based on the tattoos, that it is her. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy's wearing sweats and a hoodie and everything like that. And I can't sit there and say that's him. So no. that's why we're not flat out accusing at that point. For all we know, she's lying, trying to get, extort money out of the guy. Well, you know, we don't know. I'm not going to get that much involved in that stuff. Now, what's also interesting is if you look at the way the articles are written, some people are saying she's an OnlyFans model, which is what we're saying because that's the only thing we know is legitimately true. Other people are saying she's an escort. Other people are saying she's flat out a prostitute. We don't know what was going on. So all we can tell you is yeah. she was naked. He was clothed in the video. So for all I know, it was a private lap dance room or something like that in the hotel. I don't know. I mean, it is sweatpants he was wearing. Also, well, I mean, you always wear sweatpants guy. and lap dance. It provides more room and comfort for expanding venues. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, I don't know. It's it's interesting though because he's on blast big time. So for those who don't know who he is, by the way, because he's not a household name in the NFL by any means. Twenty five year old, uh, former third round pick out of Alabama by the Rams. Uh, since then, he's also played for the Bears, Saints, and now the Eagles. Uh, he signed a reserve future contract with the Eagles for the year. Uh, for his career, he's appeared at 30 games, had seven starts, 40 tackles, six sacks, and one interceptions, all while playing with the Rams. Now, what's really crazy is since the incident broke, Lewis has made all of his social media pages private. What's even crazier is the Eagles have not commented. And... That's like, can you imagine a scenario where an NFL team has to respond to a guy potentially walking out as someone who is being called by other people a prostitute? Like, I don't know. Again, I don't know what she was yeah. in the room doing. I'm not saying she's a hooker. I'm just saying. Let's talk about that. In some death. people are calling her that. And if that's what the scenario was, can you imagine the Philadelphia Eagles having to release a statement about one of their players walking out and then being videotaped doing a Dine and dash, like I don't know what you call it, the version of a dine and dash with the prostitute, but yeah. And again, even if she didn't do that, it was just a lap dance at that point, and it was 
within the realm of legalities. I don't even know what the legal, what is legal or not legal to do with this. So I, I really don't. Um, not a legal. That's assuming it's Pennsylvania. So, well, I, I mean, again, I don't even know that part. I don't know if it's Pennsylvania, <laughs> but again, I don't know what the rules are legally on paying a woman to give you a lap dance in a private hotel room like that. I don't. That's... She can get in trouble with this whole thing. That'd be the interesting part. That's funny because I mean she's putting them on blast. Like she's going out yeah. to like her Twitter and whatever, saying like, she, "Oh, this is what yeah. I did to him," and he was perfect. Oh, did she put that? Out, put out, that's what she did to him, and I missed that. Did we get actual? Oh, it was on? part of. It was part of uh, the thing I sent you. Listen, I was at work. I didn't get to see the whole thing. I saw the video. I saw who she was. I did a little research there, but yeah, the whole thing yes. is crazy and. I, I, I yes. can't. This I, is what I, she put in Twitter. Okay, go for it. Because she, she tagged the Eagles, the NFL, and his coaches. Because we've got a runner, ladies and gentlemen, at Real 24. Run, run me my MFN money at Eagles, at uh, NFL, at NFL on Fox, at Mike Clay, NFL, <laughs> at Coach Nuts, at Coach Strickland, at Coach Six. And Coach K Mc, McDonald and oh my Coach God. E. Dickerson. This whole scenario. He had a Harry. And I'm going to read this. So if, yeah, let's I'm let's read what let's she said. It, so let's keep keep it somewhat family friendly. I'm going to I'm going to substitute some words like if there's little kids around here. I put his Harry Bass toot up <laughs> up in the air and put my finger inside his bass hole. Whoa! And it okay. felt loose. How dare you run off it, on me? And it felt you told loose. Me you loved Is that me. what she said? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, this scenario gets crazy. You told me anything. you loved you loved when I figured your hairy asshole at real twenty four. Oh my god! We're good. Okay, we should probably give a warning on this episode. God dang! <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like okay, so okay, so here's the crazy part now. Now that you and I, because I didn't know, I didn't see that part of that before. So she's blast. admitted to being, I, and again, I don't know if there's a different terminology used for this, but she did a sexual act on him for money. Well, listen, he could have bought the rock and got the beer for free. No, no, that old stadium thing. But what I'm just saying is she basically yeah. just put herself on blast for doing sexual acts on somebody for money. That's stupid. <laughs> this whole scenario is crazy. Yep. Guys, we will keep you posted as more information comes out. <laughs> <laughs> because we are entertained to no end on this, okay? And I apologize if you had any kids in the car, if you're in the audio version or something, or anybody got any, any issues with this. Uh, I didn't know Rob was about to go into that much detail. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how detailed it was. <laughs> yes, it was very detailed. <laughs> There's definitely tail involved. Uh, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah, guys, on that note, we'll end <laughs> Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.